Welcome to Ignite Phoenix 12. <laughs> By round of applause, who's here for the very first time tonight? Excellent. Well, I am here to tell you what you're going to see on this stage and maybe give you something to think about as you watch. You are going to see 18 presenters each come out on this stage and share their passion for exactly five minutes. Well, behind them, 20 slides are going to advance every 15 seconds that they cannot control. They are going to tell you what excites them, what infuriates them, and what invigorates them. They're going to share a story. And storytelling is an amazing thing because as diverse as this group of people is, it brings people together. Storytelling is one of the oldest activities that humanity has engaged in. And if you look at the stories that we have, as Joseph Campbell did, you find that really people aren't that different when you really get down to it. And Joseph studied uh, stories from all over the world, from all different times. And one type of story in particular really intrigued him, and that's the story of our heroes. From China to South America, the people that we look at that inspire us, the adventures that we retell, are very similar. They walk a path that has been dubbed the hero's journey. And this path is similar to many works of literature, and film, these are just a few of the different things where you will find aspects of the hero's journey. So what is this journey and how does it turn someone into a hero? Well, it starts in the ordinary world. The hero isn't a hero yet, he's just a regular person. And maybe they feel a little bit special but they're waiting for something unusual to happen. This is Alice before she goes down the rabbit hole. Well, then comes a call to adventure. This could be a strange visitor who appears or an unusual event. But often the hero, still in this ordinary world, shuns it away. They resist this call because they're nervous. This is Wally when he first meets Eve and doesn't know who she is. But the hero will then find a mentor, somebody who instructs the hero and gives them guidance, a wise figure who tells the hero more that they are capable of. Is there any greater mentor in film than Obi-Wan Kenobi? He's exactly the mentor figure. Eventually, though, the hero will cross the threshold into adventure. Now amazing things are happening, and the, the ordinary world is far gone. The adventure has started. The commitment has been made. This is Tom Sawyer going down the river, or the hobbits leaving the Shire. But the hero doesn't walk the path alone. He has allies, like Ron and Hermione from Harry Potter, and enemies that will oppose him, like Voldemort. Right? As he walks down this path, eventually he will face his ordeal. The ordeal is the battle that he must face on himself, by himself, where all of his skills come to bear. This could be something great, like destroying the Death Star, or something very personal, like when Rick let Ilsa go in Casablanca. And when the hero is done, they will receive a gift, a symbolic uh, representation of how they've changed and what they've accomplished. This could be a very real thing, like a sword, like Excalibur, or something uh, non-substantial, like controlling the force. Then the hero returns to the normal world. But now, now he's a hero. He has changed, and he has the ability to change others. And this cycle, once you're aware of it, you see it over and over again. Like I said, literature, film, comic books. This is a thumbnail sketch, and I encourage you to look deeper if you want. But I have a question for you. What if your life were an epic tale, and you were the main character? Because it is, and you are. You are the hero in your own story. And where are you on the hero's journey? Are you waiting for a call to adventure? Are you uh, stuck in the ordinary world, waiting for something to happen? Or maybe you've walked the hero's journey before and you're looking to do it again because life, our lives, are full of endless opportunities to be heroes and to walk this adventure if we're willing to take it. The people coming out here could be your mentor or your ally or your call to adventure, but you have to make the choice to start that journey on your own. No one else can. Now, the people coming out on this stage are on their own journey. And for many of them, this stage is their ordeal, okay? So you need to cheer for them when they come out here. And if they stumble a little bit, support them. Respect, respect the ideas that they are coming out here to share. And if I can get a huge round of applause 
I would like to bring out the very first presenter for Ignite 12 and start this particular journey with all of you.